my god, this is funny. Oh, like, is it, oh, you, is it funny? Very funny. Is this funny too? <laughs> now that was kind of funny. She got that water. Splash. Drip. Drip. Woo. Splash. Usman taking Kim as a joke caused him to get a little wet. And from the looks of it, their short-lived relationship as a couple and as friends is over. You think my friends want me here? Self light. When wow, you get that, really? When you get that, Safe yeah. light? Yeah. Cool. I lost. And I'll probably never date again, ever. Girl, don't say that. Let's talk about it. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Before we get into Kim and Usman, I have to know. Have y'all seen the teaser for the upcoming season of 90 Day Fiance? Ari and Benny are back. I'm not going to marry you guys, I'm marrying Benny. And his sister Wish better count her lucky stars that Ari is not about that life. Wish literally threw red wine, red wine in Ari's face. All right, you go in there, start swinging. I cannot wait to get into that episode with y'all. Plus, there is a lot of eye candy. I was like, oh, oh. Casting was definitely on point with the look. Let's just make sure they're checking old social media posts too. Right, that, that part, that part. part. Yes, I have seen the headlines about Mike making racist and transphobic comments on Instagram. I'm not sure what's going on this season. It seems like the people we start rooting for, <coughs> Alina, are just gonna disappoint us. By the way, despite his friend's advice, Mike didn't end the relationship with Jimena. What a shocker. When he tried to break up with her, she told him she wanted to work things out. Police. And they actually ended up getting intimate that night. Guess who got lucky? But after he got lucky, she told him she didn't want to sleep in the same bed with him until they're married. So he's confused again. I thought we were taking like two steps forward, but then in reality, it's really just five steps backwards. Look, I'm with Mita, who said this last week. If Mike does not leave, I will not feel sorry for him anymore. I get that this is his first serious relationship and it can make you dumb in love, but that on top of his alleged social media post, I'm over it. And next week, it looks like Jimena is going to say something that has him running for the hills. You know what? I'm done. My mind's going crazy. <sighs> All right, let's get into what you came here for. Kim and Usman. Quick refresh. After Usman decided that Kim was officially his girlfriend. I'm for that. I'm so the boy's for girlfriend. That. I'm so the boy's girlfriend. That's so crazy. He then decided to finally come clean and tell Kim that his song Zara is about his ex. I tell you everything. How dare you keep a secret from me? Seriously. When he previously told her, it's a name he picked out for all the women across the world. Yeah, but that's a good lie. Where's the car? Kim was pissed and embarrassed that she came to Tanzania for the song's music video shoot. And it clicked to her that while Usman was busy trying to create a storyline for TV, I love being on TV. He left her in the dark, looking dum, 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 dum. while she's been nothing but supportive and loyal to him. I feel stupid. I feel stupid I even came down here. And beside the song being about his ex, what Kim seems to be mainly upset about is that she had no clue Usman was in a full-blown relationship while they were talking. I would have never, ever, ever in a million years tried to pursue somebody that was in a relationship. I was cheated on, and I would never do that to anybody else. For all the time I've been talking to you, I'm not in love or relationship with you. You are my friend. Meanwhile, Usman's argument is that he didn't have to tell Kim because she wasn't his girlfriend. And I, oh! Which brings us to this episode. Ah, oh, finally. Kim is disappointed and emotionally drained as she talks to her friend from home. And I'm like so down on myself now, you know? And it's not fair to me because I'm so down on myself. And I was I had so much confidence when I got here and everything. And now it's just like, it's just gone. But she comes to the conclusion that she's going to give Usman one more chance to prove himself before she packs her bags to leave. 
He's got to do something like romantic and big and prove to me that he loves me. If Usman doesn't prove this to me this time, I'm going to be so hurt. All I could think was, Kim, you are setting yourself up for disappointment again. Why do we do that to ourselves? When someone is not behaving in the way we want them to, we still create these expectations in our heads when in reality, they're already showing us who they are and how they move. We just don't wanna accept it. I think in Kim's case, she's going to have to take her heart back from Usman. She's given him way too much power over how she feels about herself. And quite frankly, he doesn't deserve it. Looking cute today. Oh, thank you. No, every day. Every day? Every day. You look good, seriously. Fast forward to their meetup on the beach. Usman says he's going to stay calm to show Kim he wants to work things out. <sighs> but once she starts to let him know how she feels, things escalate quickly. Why would you bring me down here to have shoot a video about another woman? I feel like this whole trip was very, very deceptive. Kim then tells him to take off his gold Soldier Boy chain that she bought him on his birthday. I just, I just want to see it. And looking back now, this was such a smooth move on her part. Do you know how much work this took to get me this made? I don't know. I had to, I had to like go online, find a place that did it. Mm -hmm. It was sent I don't know how much you Let was. me finish. It was sent overseas. I get it back, paid extra. I paid like, I think it was like $45 to get it sent to me like two days later. So you'd have it on your birthday. That's thought. Yeah. How much thought did you put in this trip for me? Nothing. Oof, my heart dropped for her. That's tough to hear. But to come to Usman's defense, it's not his fault that she's willing to go above and beyond for him. I love that she has a big heart, but it can be a double-edged sword because everyone can't love like you do. I didn't force you to come. Mm -mm. So what I'm just I saying, I want you to know the effort and the thought that I put into this. I just don't feel like the love is there. Also, one thing I've learned is that when most men say how things are in regards to a relationship, that's how things are. Usman said they were friends, so he was acting like a friend. Kim was acting like a wife when no one told her to do that. This is no shade to Kim. I mean, I'm a victim of fairy tale expectations too. But the truth is, when you get disappointed, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. When people show you who they are, believe them. Yes. Hashtag preach. In order for me to stay here tonight and not go home, because there are flights. You need to do something big. Kim also tells Usman until he proves his love, she'll be holding on to that chain. <laughs> Told you, smooth move. When you prove it to me, then what? you'll get it back. I'm not giving it back. Oh my God, this is funny. Oh, like, is it, you... oh, is it funny? Very funny. Is this funny too? I hope that was funny too. And she's off. Kim tells the camera she has never thrown a drink in anybody's face before. Really? Hmm? But Usman triggered her and reminded her of her ex-husband. My ex-husband would come home with lipstick on his shirt and phone numbers in his pocket, and I would find them, and he'd be like, ha, 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 Kim, like, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, ah, ha, ha, you're so funny when you're mad. And a complete disregard for my feelings, and I will not put up with that again. While Kim was having flashbacks, Usman was feeling totally disrespected. I don't know if it is normal in America, but in my region and the world I know, it is highly disrespected. And I will not stand for it. They continue to argue in her hotel room, which every time they're in there, I can't help but think about how much she is paying for that honeymoon suite, yet dealing with all this drama. But that's beside the point. Either you come correct with me and prove it, or I'm getting on a plane tonight. When Kim threatened to leave for good, what Usman told her next broke my heart. So I can only imagine how she felt. And don't think I won't do it. Do not think I won't do it. You think my friends want me here? Self light. What did he say? You think my friends want me here? Self light. When wow, you get that, really? When you get Safe flight? Yeah. Cool. Cool. I will book it tonight. Breathe, girl. Breathe. Usman said safe flight. In a moment like this, you want your man to fight for you. And 
He's just letting it go. Considering the way Kim was feeling about herself earlier, I know this has her thinking, am I not worth it? <sighs> Apparently, the relationship is done. Very good. Good. <laughs> that was kind of a joke, but not really. So honestly, I'm not feeling the relationship anymore right now with Kimbali. Usman says Kim now reminds him of his ex-wife, Lisa. All the while, Kim is breaking down in tears. I'm so angry right now. I could just break everything in this, this room. He said, have a safe flight. That was all the answer I needed. So that's it. So it's going to be very, very hard to remove Usman from my life because he's been such a part. It's not just like he's a little part of my life. Like he's a, it's a 24 hour day thing. You know what I mean? And I've gotten so used to him calling me every morning or me calling him, the texting, everything is so much. I can't even think about it. It's going to be really hard and I'll probably never date again, ever. Kim has been through a lot in love, but I'll be darned if she allows her ex-husband and Usman to stop her from finding the real thing. She might be a little worn out right now, which is understandable, but hopefully she doesn't give up. And for all we know, based off the teaser, her and Usman might get back together next week. He just texted me and told me to meet him at the beach bar. I'm leery. I know it's over, like I know it's over. But I mean, it could be a mind game. Oh, now, he said now, I'm shaking. Stay in your power, girl, stay in your power. Whew. I'm actually speaking to Kim soon, so y'all know the deal. Drop any questions you may have for Kim Bali in the comments and I'll pick a few. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.